Papa, can you tell me a bedtime story again? Of course, my darling. Would you like to hear the tale of Talisha? Perhaps one about Fiendal? The Third Age? Or even the legend of the Bauble? Do you know of any stories from faraway places? Well, I do know of another story. One about a place very far away from here. A place of monsters and bad men. Are you sure you want to hear it? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> very well, dear. Let me tell you a story about a man who lost himself in the pursuit of power. Far from the shores of Wraith lay a secluded island, shrouded in mist and fog to hide it from the rest of the world. Upon this island stands a grand and expansive mansion, with large stained glass windows that glow from within. Large statues of strange figures stand guard at its doors, the moon gazing down upon their cloaked forms. The mansion is home to many dark and shadowy monsters. Mutated masses of flesh and bone crawl their way through the corridors, and shadows follow those who walk the mansion's grounds. But of all the evil things that reside in the mansion, the scariest are the humans. One of these residents was once a powerful lord in the Northern Realms. He was born into a noble family, one that was renowned for its strong fighters and its wizards. By all accounts, he should have been happy with his fortunate position, but there was something different about him than the rest of his kin. The Lord was unable to cast spells, which was unusual as the rest of his family was able to. No matter how hard he tried, he lacked the special connection to the magics of the land, and his efforts were futile. Displeased with being the outlier from the generations before him, the Lord began to research his predicament. But as he studied more and more, he discovered dark knowledge and its potential to bring him the power he sought so desperately. However, he soon left his comfortable life behind in fear of the judgment and persecution of others and came to the island to hide away from the rest of the world. He left it all behind? Even those he cared about? Yes, but it is said that he took some of his research supplies, a family heirloom, and a precious magical gem. With a quiet place to study without fear of judgement from those around him, the Lord fell deeper into a pit of forbidden and dangerous secrets to unlock the mysteries of magic. It wasn't long before his experiments became more depraved. He tested his theories on living beings, carving strange symbols into their skin and bones. But still, he could not obtain the ability to cast magic, despite all the knowledge he had learned. He still couldn't cast magic? What did he do then? Well, they say that one day he came across the washed up body of a man that had been swept onto the sand by the waves. The Lord quickly brought the body back to his chambers where he began performing his experiments on the man. Surprisingly, the unknown man responded to the experiments, and soon the Lord had created his very own warrior that could wield both swords and sorcery. What had the Lord done to the man? Nobody knows what happened in the Lord's chambers during the experiments, but what he had created was very powerful. His creation kept him safe from the other dangerous creatures and people on the island, but many were not happy with the Lord and his warrior. As quickly as the Lord had created a powerful warrior, the denizens of the mansion began to turn his creation against him. Eventually the warrior turned against his creator, and the Lord was no more. Is that the end of the story? What happened to the warrior after that? What happened to all the Lord's belongings? I'm not sure what happened to the warrior after that. Some say the warrior returned to where he came from. Others say he became someone else's tool for their own evil plans. As for the Lord, 
I'm sure there are plenty of things he had that the others in the mansion snatched up once he was gone. Someone as well off as a lord surely at least had some valuable clothing. You mean like a fancy coat? Or some magical boots? Yes. I'm sure he had quite the outfit. Perhaps they were even magical suede boots that put a spring in his step. <laughs> Papa? Yes, sweetheart? Do you think there are bad people like the Lord or the warrior here in Arya? My dear, it was just a story. The Lord and warrior don't exist. We are safe from bad people here. What about the bad monsters? <laughs> bad monsters can't get to us here. The caution protects us from all outsiders that wish to do us harm. You don't have anything to worry about. Time to get some sleep. Okay. Good night, Papa. Good night, little one.